Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is my Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist walkthrough, and we're going to be doing the Duelist Kingdom with the story decks. I'm curious as well, I wonder if the game scales to when you make a deck as opposed to when you use a story deck. Oh, there's going to be a tutorial here, I think. Yeah, there is. Rip. <laughs> we'll, we'll get... I'll just cut this out. So, technically, Duelist Kingdom wasn't underway, was it, until Yugi fought Kaiba. But I'm wondering if the game scales towards the decks you can make rather than these story decks. Because these story decks are super tame compared to what you can do in this game. Especially now, with all the, the extra cards they've added in the last 10-15 years. It's just preposterous, isn't it? Absolutely preposterous. But we'll start with a good old GIANT SOLDIER OF STONE! And see what he can do. Guy's a beast. Kaiba's gonna try to summon Blue Eyes White Dragons. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a hit top, what is it, hit top Sumi Giant? A green eyed guy. Hey, Lajin took 200 damage, good. And we're gonna go for the Exodia pull. I'm gonna do that by sacrificing Sangan. The greatest card you'll see in Exodia builds of 20 years ago. So, Legend does that. Look at these cards, dude. And we pull this one, because this one has an effect on it. And if we get the Heart of the Underdog cards, which I'm sure this deck has, one less effects card will mean that Heart of the Underdog will run harder. This card is so busted, I can't believe it even exists. Hey, there we go. There's two pieces of Exodia, all's going well. We'll save Raigeki for some blue eyes action. What are you doing, Kaiba? Got a judge man on the on the hills now? No root Kaiser. Oh. Uh, something that you shouldn't be sacrificing for. Beaver Warrior, very good. Classic Yu-Gi-Oh card right there. Why would you not want a Beaver Warrior in your deck? I mean, it writes itself, doesn't it? Who needs Vos Raiders, Gemini Elves, Goblin Attack Forces when you can just be the warrior? Hey, Battle Ox. Iconic Kaiba card. Beautiful. Love me some Battle Ox. It's the Kaiba Axe Raider. Problem is... I'm getting bad draws, so... How about no? He hasn't drawn a Blue Eyes, which means he can't do much. One of those was a Wall of Illusion, too. I'm glad we stopped that. We're going for Exodia here, so life points don't matter. There's another Lejin. Celtic Guardian. No! We barely knew you. Never wanted you once. Spellbinding Circle. That's handy. Let's see what he's up to. Can you believe Gaia the Fierce Knight takes two sacrifices? If this was technically Duelist Kingdom, shouldn't we be able to summon for free? This is really scary, this. If he has one of those ancient rules or whatever it's called... I don't want to do this. Fuck out of here, let him do it. We know what it is. Judge Man, really? I thought it was going to be something else. That's it! Look, he's going to summon him now. That card, those two cards in combination... Lame. Fucking lame, Kaiba. You never had this shit back in those days. You're making this up. What are they doing? Judge Man can't kill me. Judge Man must say no. Sit down, Judge Man. Suck a fat one. Get out of here. J judge that. Lest you be judged. That's what we wanted. This is very useful. Cheesy as fuck for an Exodia deck, but undeniably useful. Nothing there. What have you got? Ooh, Wall of Illusion could come in handy. Yeah, why not? What if it'd be a smart idea to bring in Gaia, everyone's favourite shitty card? Love how he looks. 
he's just unfortunately dated and useless. I've given it away, haven't I, with the... Yeah, we'll bring him in. Problem here is, if he does get a blue eyes, he's going to shit on our, our wonderful Gaia. Gaia who never won anything ever and would never ever be featured in anyone's decks. And if he were to be featured, would probably be a new version of him that actually has an effect that makes him viable in some way rather than just being less than a summon skull for twice the sacrifice. Yugi really trying his best to lose, even in Season 1. No blue eyes though, and this is where it begins. This is where the fun begins. If we draw a normal monster, which we should, we'll draw again. But we drew Swords of Revealing Light, which is not helpful. But we will use it, because I want to see what he just hid. A lamp. Interesting. That can help him summon a Lejin, that. It's a pretty good card. Oh, and he's got Negate Attack. Of course he does. Kaiba's used that before, though. I can give him that. I don't know why he's using his Season 2 outfit in Season 1. Kaiba did not wear that outfit in Duelist Kingdom. Well, neither did Yugi. Neither, none of this is accurate. What? Come on, game. Really? Two Swords of Revealing Light? They must have skipped that episode where Yugi had to use the same tired tactic that he used that other time in, in, the, in one game. Twice in one game, Yugi. Grandpa's deck's not, not, not so hot right now. Come on, Heart of the Underdog. What should be another Heart of the That's a good thing. A well, Sangan, but that gets us a, an Exodia piece, so that's not a problem. However, Sangan needs to die to do that, and he's not going to die until he's attacked, or until we attack with him. Got Legends to spare, this kid. Get out of here, Kaiba. God, these fonts look so awful. Why is this game so cheap and awful? Luckily, the card game is immaculate and very fun. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Come on, give me one more. Now he knows we're going for Exodia. Give me one more. What a dirty card this is. How about another? Ah, oh, Feral Imp. Awful card, but handy in this situation. On Imp, another terrible card, but canonical. So he's here. Ah, oh, Silver Fang. The, 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 the trio is here. A trio of cards you'd never want in your deck, and yet Yugi used them mercilessly against our better judgment. It, it wounds us to see Yugi use such fluff, but alas. Hey, we got Saggy the Dark Clown. And we can do this. Will this? Yeah, it's just sent to the graveyard. This will work. We're one piece away from summoning Exodia. So now it gets exciting. And we've seen this in the episode because it don't end well for Kaiba. Is this going to summon a Lejin? Or is it a flip effect? I forget. You can keep Sagi. He's not a threat. Discard a card from your hand. Don't accidentally pick Exodia. That would be heartbreaking. He's got nothing. Seto Kaiba speechless? Oh, here we go. Is this the one? Oh, is this the one? Exodia! Obliterate! And it doesn't even show an animation! Look how fucking cheap this game is! Rip! You don't even get a cool cutscene! Even the Game Boy games gave you a cool cutscene! Okay. So the first... Duel of Duelist Kingdom against Weevil Underwood. Insect and Bug Deck. Leading gimmick here was the environmental stuff. Duelist Kingdom really made a big fuss about the environmental stuff, and then it kind of went away after that. But if we can get polymerization, we'll be laughing here. And speaking of environmental stuff... Wasteland! What does that do? Dinosaur, zombie, and rock type. He's dark, but he's no dinosaur. So we'll... Swords of Revealing Light! And then we'll see what he has to say. And hopefully he's not going to pin chop her into a million insect queens. 
Yes, of course, that classic Weevil card, Graceful Charity. Oh my god, the Graceful Charity into Graceful Charity, of course, witnessed in Duelist Kingdom in that very fresh episode where Yugi fought against him. Oh wait, no. That was Cocoon of Evolution, you stupid fucking game. He didn't have a million resource cards. Look at the shit I've got though. <laughs> Terrible cards. Yugi Moto, known for having a shit deck with Exodia, and then Exodia got tossed. So just a shit deck. If this is Cocoon of Evolution, I'm gonna be pissed. And I can feel it in my balls. It's not though, it's Big Insect, that's cool. I can take that, you deserve that. That's actually canonical. That's in the episode, I would imagine. He probably threw a few of those around before Joey bodied him in season two. And look, the classic card by Weevil. The counter swords of revealing light when Yugi swords of revealing light are on, on the field. It doesn't get more faithful, does it? Fuck you. And whoever designed that. Weevil does not use swords of revealing light. Stupid bullshit. What next? Panic a light deck? Come on, polymerization. Karibo, really? You couldn't make it up, could you? You couldn't make it up. Some of these duels are going to be frustrating, guys, because Yugi's season one deck is dire. It's dog shit. Luckily, they don't go hard on you like they do on the later seasons, it seems. I can't imagine what, like, Zexel or Rexel or... I don't even know what they call those new seasons. You probably play those games and in turn one they've, they've summoned every Pokemon that's ever existed and they fight with the Digimon and then afterwards you lose life points. So what did he discard? Did he discard anything good? Manny to bugs and a killer needle. Ooh, and a Hercules Beetle! That's a sacrifice for that. What a rip. That's a fucking rip, that. You know it's bad, don't you, when you're using Monster Reborn on a Hercules Beetle. It's so funny, dude. I think that this part of the game should work off Duelist Kingdom's rules. If we could just raw dog summon like they did back then, I think this would be fine. I think it'd be a lot more fun. But adhering to the card game rule set that was introduced in, in Battle City, it just doesn't work for these trash decks. And I can't even attack, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm excited. Like, can you imagine if somebody took a, a faithful Yugi deck? to an actual tournament for, for Yu-Gi-Oh, where people are serious and using really, really ridiculous modern shit. You get fucking bodied. You get super bodied. And if you did win, it would be amazing. Because you, you work so much harder than they do when you don't have any of the, the nasty stuff. I mean, Mirror Force is pretty nasty, but Yu-Gi had that, so that's okay. It's just so grim, isn't it? 1400 attack. Oh, you won't be seen dead in a normal deck, would you? Only reason. Oh, Wabaku as well, of course. That classic moment where. where Weevil used Wabaku. Although he could have used Wabaku and I don't remember, but I don't think he did. <laughs> Who was the first person to use Wabaku? Somebody used it against Joey, didn't they? Or was it Joey that used it? I need to rewatch the, the show. Hey, can we not? No, no, yeah, let, let, let's, let's, let's do that. You can do that. Get a bit of damage, make you feel bad. Ultimate psychological warfare. Now we need Raigeki. Ooh, the sweet, sweet taste of a monster that is still wildly average in spite of being a fusion summon. I should have done that in a monster reborn Gaia. That would have been a much better play. This thing looks cool in the show, but I think it looks a bit shit on the card. Never been a big fan of Guy and the Dragon Champion. But I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. He's got some actual attack power. Let's do some damage. Oh, Wabaku, of course. The classic moment where Weevil smited Yugi twice and prolonged the match for no real reason other than because fuck you. Classic scene, that one. The litany of Swords of Revealing Light and Wabaku is on an insect deck that shouldn't have either of those. Is this guy actually attacking? What is he doing?
I don't know why he's doing that, but I don't want him to do it, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> that card's going to augment it in some way, and I can't be asked to read it. So instead, fuck you. Right, which one of these is the Queen of Evolution? We've got a nice backup now. He's not going to get past the Giant Soldier of Stone. We'll make Beaver Warrior in attack mode. He's got that 1200 attack power. He's doing no damage against any of my friend's decks. <laughs> but he might do damage to Weevil. But not that one, because that's a Kamakiri man, and apparently Kamakiri don't fuck about. And that's another Kamakiri man. And then this is... This is... I, don't, I didn't even see what that was. What was that? Resonance Insect? Oh, and there's a perfectly ultimate Great Moth. I hope we don't see her anytime soon, or we're in for a rough night. <laughs> I don't think you can conventionally summon that, can you? Oh no, you can. Oh no, he did the Hercules Beetle. And the Hercules Beetle killed my Beaver Warrior, how dare you. I wish Yu-Gi-Oh had more memorable music. We're sitting here with this. I don't even know what this is. Sounds like the battle theme on a mobile JRPG. Can I do anything with you, sir? There it is. That's what I was looking for. I don't remember how that works, but I don't want that to evolve, so I'm going to kill it. And then, I suppose the rest of this is history. It's not going the way I'd like it to go, ladies and gentlemen. I wish it was a bit more exciting than this, but what can you do? It's Duelist Kingdom. Everyone's deck's dog shit. Except for his, full of Potter Greeds! Remember that scene where Potter Greed came out? No! Weevil with the Potter Greed! What is that, Howling Insect? We saw that coming, that's no, no real crisis. Silly. He gets a buff, doesn't he, from the Wasteland card? Nice. Hey, not, you know the only thing better than one Wasteland? Is, of course, never having Wasteland in your deck. Because why would you want one? Let alone two. Yugi's just born to fail, I guess. How did he win this tournament with this deck? Part of the cards, ladies and gentlemen. When you believe, it happens. Unless we're talking about internet, because it's been a fucking week, and I never stopped believing. I'm just at the point now where I want to hurt people. A lot. Ooh, this could be fun. I like... I'm getting a buff, though, aren't I? So I probably shouldn't do that. As much as I do like causing chaos. Because it deals damage to life points. I'm actually in the deficit here, though. What's that? This is so frustrating, dude. Lights are revealing... Lights are revealing light. Swords are revealing light. Wobbakoos. And now I can't do shit because I got an ult. Come on, Weevil. Stop being mean. Give me this. He's put up a bigger fight than, like, Pegasus is gonna. That's the irony here. Pegasus is gonna go down real quick. Because his deck kills him to attack. Which is how you know you're winning. In endless enemies. Can, we, can I summon something that's not Gaia the Trash Knight, please? Double Scorched Earth, really? Burning lands for days. I could use that to chip away at life points while this guy's being an arsehole with all these defensive cards. But truth be told, I don't have the confidence I'll win because his deck is so shit. Hey, basic insect. Insect, he's classic, him. As an OG. Come on, Weevil. You're wasting the viewer's time now. You're not going to win. Let's be fucking fair. I'm going to shit on you because I'm on the cover and you're not. You're like eight. I'll just kick you in the face and then you go crying to mummy and I win, right? Easy life. Can you imagine if this guy had any effect cards on flip? Dangerous it would be. But he doesn't. So here's what we do. Let's do some... Can we do Double Scorched Earth? I keep calling it the wrong name, but you get what I mean. I want us to lose a thousand every turn. Let's do this. Let's alternate a thousand damage. That right there sounds fun to me. Boom. Boom. Look at that bleed. I could have used it now to get rid of his forest. There's an irony, but he's still going to bleed. I'm going to bleed too. That's cool. I'm all for fairness. 
Then we got Monster Reincarnation. Do I have anything worth bringing back? I don't know if I do. Yeah, it's all dog shit. <laughs> Let's grab that just in case we get another polymerization. I don't imagine we will, but two dragon champions representing? I'd buy that for a dollar. I'm gonna do this. If this is a cocoon of evolution, I got trolled. That was a good gambit. That means now, the next turn he's dead. No matter what he does, essentially. He'll need a miracle here. And he didn't have anything to do, which is really unfortunate. So... Gaia, the Dragon Champion! Kill this bitch. And now we get to play as Joey against my Valentine and her Harpy deck. This is scary because the only thing worse than Yugi's Duelist Kingdom deck is bloody Joey's. And, and the Harpies, man. The Harpies. Oh, wow, he's got Pot of Greed. I need to go back and watch this season, dude. This season's got some bangers in it. They must have been hiding these cards. Oh, my God, Garuzis, really? Ooh, Axe Raider, though. What a classic. Love this card. Doesn't get more classic than Axe Raider. Something's wrong with his face though, isn't it? Let's be fair. I love Axe Raider. He's a banger. Look at his face. What did they do wrong? It's like they forgot. He looks a bit like Shredder slash the Predator or something. It's weird. Maybe that was the first guy he drew before he was confident at doing it. Still a great card. It's essentially Joey's Battle Ox. Which I think is really resentful when you consider Yugi's is probably like Celtic Guardian, isn't it? Celtic Guardian or some shit. And Celtic Guardian is nowhere near as strong as those cards. Really? Can I activate this before he dispels it? Oh, I wouldn't have dispelled it anyway. It was a trap. I'm an idiot. Rip. And I'm going to put my own card in defense mode now, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Oh no, did it give him the buff? Oh, it gave him the buff. It's okay. It's okay, it gave him the buff, guys. Crisis averted. I'm sleeping on the job. Fortunately, that might be the most exciting thing we do all match. Making a, a mistake. Anyhow. Harpy's dead. No fancy 9 million Harpies popping up like it would do if she was using a Harpy deck now. We could do some classic, old-school Yu-Gi-Oh shit right now. It's like watching Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi talk at each other while barely fighting. Elegance, grace, nothing complex. Double Axe Raider, not gonna complain. 1700 for these decks is good. Killing it right now. Is it gonna be another Harpy? It should be, right? What is that, Harpy Channeler? I spoke too soon, that could be some weird flip monster that summons 50 fucking things. But so far, so good. Maya's not putting up much of a fight. Easy life. Problem with making a walkthrough for something like this is, is fundamentally that it's all random, isn't it? So you could get a really evil deck or a really evil hand or a bad turn or a bad bunch of turns. And it could go really awfully. I don't think anyone's going to need help for this particular sequence, though. This is very simple so far. Hey, we got Koji Kosi, everyone's favorite card you'll probably never ever want in your deck because level 4 1500 attack is just simply not enough unless it's got some kind of status effect that makes it viable but we'll not tell yugi he knows best he does win everything after all and what not nearly bangs taya that's got to speak for something is she dead she's dead wow that was uneventful so what about weevil he at least put a fight up that was weird but mako will change that let's see what mako's got for us Oh my god. I love it. Horn of the Unicorn on a beaver warrior. Now you know it's Duelist Kingdom when this is happening. Ooh, Golem Sentry? Damn. This guy's good. This guy could come in handy, you know. Definitely. We're doing it. Beaver Warrior, I choose you. 
Come on, you. If this guy dies, we're fucked, because it's going to be nothing but Horn of the Unicorns. We're going ham. We're going in. Look at this. Who needs mage power? Who needs United We Stand? Nobody. Axe of Despair, get the fuck out of here. We've got double Horn of the Unicorn, and we're not even a unicorn. Magic. What's that? Mega Morph with low life points? Get out of here. What is he going to do, though? These decks are so simple, he can't do anything. This seems unfair, and I'm happy about it. What is that? What a specifically odd card. Yugi, what are you doing? What are you doing with cards like this? You're drunk, you're drunk dude. It's probably going to be the thing that saves me, but... What an awfully specific and odd card. This reminds me of when I used to duel with younger people at my school. They didn't really have it, shall we say. <laughs> so they just used to put things in their deck because they looked cool. And I love that. That's the best reason to put something in your deck. But you did feel like you were just kicking baby chickens. Cruising in there with your very serious and adult deck. Bye. You hate to see it. You're going to pay the ultimate price here as well, Mako. You can't be putting one card down and not even trying to mix me up with something set. Who does that? That's the first thing you learn about Yu-Gi-Oh. Lying. And then this card is so powerful, it'll let me flip it back down. Watch this. Oh, maybe not. Did I do that wrong? Maybe it's because it attacked. Rip. Here we go. And I can keep doing this. So every time he has a monster on the field like this, all I do is, is do this. And it's very unfair, because it's going to keep on recycling that ability, and his monster's gone again. And it's just an endless cycle of, he can't do anything. It sucks, but it's the game, you know? Summon Skull! And the problem is, if you don't use things like that, you lose. So you have to ask the question, you know, do you value winning more than you value losing? Does it matter how you win? Because Mako got trashed then. There was, he was never really in the fight, bless him. But we'll see if Rex can do any better. Rex Raptor with his dinosaur deck against Joey. I think last time I checked, there was like 4,000 cards. Probably 80,000 cards now. It's like DSP's fucking backlog, isn't it? Oh, he's probably got like 10,000 videos. No, think of more like 80,000. What? Who watches that shit? Ooh, Soul Exchange, though. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at that Swamp Battle Guard and wondering why that's in the deck. It's obviously definitely accurate, but what horrible taste. He's got the attack power of a Lejin and he takes one fucking sacrifice to summon. What a baller. Baller? That's not a word. Banger. There you go. Language. So I'll steal that, because I'm that kind of guy. And then I'll summon that. And I didn't want to attack because. I'm nice sometimes. And instead, I've got a completely pointless, worthless, one sacrifice monster that should not be in anyone's deck, and I'm now canonically accurate to Joey. So that's good. Go on, Rex, what are you gonna do? I do love the idea of having highly specific decks, though. Like, the idea of it is so romantic. Wow, two soul exchanges, Joey, you straight bitch. Even I only have one of those. And even then, I got that free with something. I don't remember what game it was, but that came free with something. Good card, minus not being able to attack the same turn you do it. That's kind of lame. Oh, what are you going to do? Sogan's coming in handy here for the environmental buff. This is turning out well. Classic Yu-Gi-Oh right here. Nothing too crazy, not 50 summons that shouldn't exist, and no bullshit card that you, you press one card and five things happen. And no reading and no tokens. Just nice and duelist kingdomy. Back before their haircuts got so preposterous, how the fuck could anybody wear them? 
Like when your hair looks like a kaleidoscope, you 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 messed up, right? And I don't know how that works with Yu-Gi-Oh. Did, did they just syndicate it, and do they make TV shows because they sell really well? Because the guy who created it, he, he didn't have anything to do with that stuff, I would imagine, right? All the driving on the motorcycles and all that shit. I'm assuming he did the Yugi stuff with the Pharaoh, and then after that was done, he moved on to, to something else, and they just continued to syndicate and create stuff because it was so popular and so easy to do, right? And the card game's really popular too, and the TV show facilitates sales, one would think, of the card game and the toys, right? Because they love a good... You know, buy some shit to do with the cartoon that you love that we keep creasing out. I can't get over this. I could have used Cost Down, but fuck that noise. I, I own Cost Down as well. That's another card that came free with something. I'm currently charging a camera as well. I should probably make a video where I go through all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're all jumbled up and they're not in any kind of order anymore. But just to show them and get all nostalgic. Something awesome about when you're excited to collect stuff. Come on, Rude Kaiser, get your sent up. Look at that. An entire suite of attacking fiends. Pretty much everybody benefiting as well. Everyone benefiting from the field card. That's good synergy in his deck there. You've got to give him that much in as much as... After shit that's in his deck is terrible. But right now, Joey's looking like his deck's better than Yugi's! Which is disgraceful! Okay, Bakura. I don't remember this fight. I really like Yami Bakura. Ooh, we've got Raigeki, that's ridiculous. I didn't know that. And if I did know that, I forgot. I'm gonna save that. Make it nice and juicy. Damn, he's setting a lot of cards. That's more like it. This guy knows what he's doing. Polymerization. Coffin cellar. That's gonna hurt. And then look at this. What a great card, Yugi. I'm glad you've got that. What a pile of dog shit. No effect. Horrible stats. What is wrong with you? Dude wants to lose. Oh my god, there it was. And just desserts. Dirty bastard. That's not too bad, though. I need to bug it. If ever there was a time to trigger that card, it's right now. So that's okay. But Bakura's gonna play a little dirtier than what we've seen so far. Already he's way more like the Game Boy games. Bitch flip effects, bitch traps. I'm liking it. It's familiar. I don't remember any of this shit in Duelist Kingdom, even though I do remember a Mani to bug. Doesn't Weevil have him? Ooh, two polymerizations? It makes me sick. Makes me sick just thinking that you could have two of those cards in your fucking deck, Yugi. And I know for certain all it's for is Gaia. Are you serious? You dirty bastard. Love it. Love everything about that. But, ooh, ooh. Swings and roundabouts, though. Look at this. This has been way more interesting and way more my speed. And, oh, double coffin seller. This is bad. This is going to start hurting if he starts cashing that in. Why rock type monsters? That's so highly specific. Anyway, let's do this. Let's see what we can pull. On of heaven. Really? Look at these fucking monsters, dude. What is he doing? The guy is drunk. Drunk on power. Terrible. I'm going to get hurt now. That's 600. We have to be real careful. But so does he. Fuck you. And we got real damage coming now. So what is that? Ancient jar. Dude, I love the jars. They're such a Final Fantasy enemy. Big fan. Dark Magician! And then we'll bring out Masaki, because we can. We'll set the Horn of Heaven, just in case. And then we'll go to town and pay a little respect, cheesy bastard. If you've got Mirror Force now, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> Good. We're not there yet, luckily. 
You have no idea how cheap these games can be, guys, if you've never played them. I'm quite a, shall we say, an honourable duelist. I like the idea of things being real and proper and less cheese the better. But the games do not give a fuck. They will cheese the living Christ out of you. Look at these cards, Yugi. What are you doing? I just don't get it. You know what they did, didn't they? They watched that episode where he's dueling Kyber at the start of the show and they saw this shit in his hand. The whole point of that deck was to summon Nexodia. It wasn't so that you could use Flame Manipulator to do nothing because he's garbage. And this is what they've given us. Dog shit. Dog shit on a stick, it's even worse. Oh my god, Morphing Jar again! Bakura! Stop this! Although I'm quite grateful actually because I don't have shit. Is that going to hit me for all of that? Oh my god, this could be bad. It weren't that bad, actually. I know that Coffin Cellar is bad for your life points, but I don't remember its specific definition. Sometimes I skim read instead of giving a shit. Let's get another Masaki. You can... If this was Joey's deck, Masaki and the Flame Manipulator, don't they turn into that, that red swordsman that he loves so much that's actually quite shit? <laughs> Classic Joey! Flame swordsman, I summon you! Yes, Joey. You did great. He's in trouble now, though. We take this card. He's dead. And he set a lot of things to get us thinking about it. Do I have it? Why do I have it? Huh. I don't remember that. Oh, does Yugi give it him? Yugi might give it to Joey. There's a potential that that happened at some point and I forgot. As I mentioned, guys, it's been a long time since I watched the show. I watched the show a lot, though, because I used to watch it every day. But some of you listening to this weren't born then, <laughs> which is a terrifying thought, but one that is fascinating also. Okay, let's sacrifice some life points here. Let's bring in Summon Skull. Summon Skull! And then we'll bring the Claw Reacher, because why the fuck would you ever want this monster? And we've got the ultimate bait for Mirror Force right now. I wouldn't even be mad if he Mirror Forced me. I'd absolutely deserve it. I did not attack that turn, and I don't know why. Yeah, fuck it. Let him do what he wants to do. What is he doing? Ooh, Robin Goblin. An interesting one. Double Robin Goblin. That's two cards you're going to be dumping. What are we dumping? What have we got? And Coffin Cellar. Look at this cheeky deck. Cheeky shit, Bakura. Unfortunately, I have the high ground, Anakin, so... I'm gonna do the... the appropriate thing. Oh, it's gonna show it! Nice! This guy looks cool. Flame Swordsman. And then we'll summon Skull. This don't be Morphing Jar. Good. You know, Mushi Warrior. And the Dark Magician will close it. You lose! So, good old Panic. Castle of Illusions, King of Yami Makai. They made that deck seem really scary in the show, but in reality, I don't think it's that good. So, we'll see how this goes. Not as trashed here as that draw, though. Oh my god. I hate this deck. <laughs> what are you doing, Yugi? What is wrong with you? Let's bait with the Grizzly. Maybe Mother Grizzly can get us a card that's not utter shit. Bone Crusher. 1600. See, he gets it. Even fucking Panic gets it that you might. If you want a level 4 monster, you might as well make one that's good. Ooh, Catapult Toil. To toil? Oh, I said it like that. Turtle. Very good card and topical. He uses that to destroy the Castle of Illusions, right? Uh, 
Interesting, yellow luster shield. Is he going to start being defensive? I like the idea of that. But you won't live to see it because Gaia the Fierce Knight is going to cruise in and do stupid shit, hopefully. I can't remember how cool Gaia was in the show, and then you got him and you realized, God, he's garbage. You literally summon Gaia just so you can feel closer to the show. That's it. Because nobody wants Gaia. Gaia's worthless. Oh my god, he's got a Sakuretsu armor! Fuck you! Why? Yes, that classic moment in Duelist Kingdom where Yugi summons his most precious monsters and monologues for 30 minutes about friendship and then you just fucking trap all them, don't you? That's, that's it. Every episode was that. Beautiful spiritual moments of Heavy Storm. Like, fuck you. Fucking trash garbage. Why does he have that? Total fucking AIDS. I'm running around with Torax up the ass, and he's got fucking Sakuretsu armor. Very fair. Very balanced. Where's your fucking shitty monsters level 3 no attack? Can't even do a Dark Assailant, I'm so shite. Luckily, Swords of Revealing Light is also apropos, and it will help. What is he doing? Is that King of Yami Makai? Is a Castle of Dark Illusion a sacrifice? I don't remember. Let's bring in Rude Kaiser. I love summoning and sacrificing a monster to bring in something with the same attack as fucking Lejin. Can you imagine having a Rude Kaiser in your deck? What are you, like alligator people? What a terrible card. Fuck off, you. Shit's so brutal. Maybe those other campaigns will be better than these ones just because of how the cards have evolved. You'll not be summoning Hitotsumi giants and shit like that. Ooh! That's interesting, though. I like a good buff card. I like it on a monster with actual attack. But beggars can't be choosers. I think that's a castle. That's a castle of illusions. Oh my god, he's got it! Why? Dude, really? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious right now? That epic moment in the show where Panic uses Mirror Force? Fuck you, game. Total fucking AIDS. Absolute abject dog shit. Frenzied Panda? That's a classic monster, isn't it? The old Frenzied Panda. Come on, Karibo. Do your thing. That's lame, dude. That's everything wrong with Yu-Gi-Oh right there. The fact that you can have such a turn completely removed effortlessly by bitch cards. And the whole game's full of bitch cards too. We're gonna fucking lose now because both of my turns where I did anything interesting, he'd completely reversed it with one trap. Hey, there it is, Castle of Dark Illusions. He's actually attacking with it, so we get our ass romped. We'll live, but we won't be happy. We needed that. That was a good draw. We need some defense now. We need to at least have a base, because apparently being aggressive on panic is not good. Dude, if this was a proper deck, this guy would be shit in the mouth. Dark Chimera, look at the stats on that. What a weird card. 1610 for one tribute. It's like achievements on launch titles, isn't it? What madness is that? 1610. Beaver Warrior, I choose you, dog. It's time to get some confused branding. Stick a unicorn horn on you, like you're some feral imp. Some feral bitch imp. And then we're gonna come in here with the attack force of a Gemini elf, which I wish I had, but I don't, because Duelist Kingdom, apparently, where Sakuretsu armors exist. Weevil has Swords of Revealing Light and Panic has fucking Mirror Force. Classic moves. He's gonna be scared now though because I've got 1900 attack power. <laughs> and now he has absurd defense. Oh, and Gaia's back, who I refuse to summon now because he fucked me last time. 
Fuck you, guy. No one likes you. We do have right Geki though, don't we? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll pull right Geki and just shit on him. Because he's just going to defend now. He's got less cards than me though, so if this goes 24 turns, he loses. We've got all kinds of worthless cards too. Worthless cards on parade. Celtic Guardians and Beaver... Beaver Warriors and shit, but when he comes to it, he realizes it's actually quite garbage. Oh wow, Reaper card. Interesting. That has got a lot of defense, hasn't it? I like the idea of doing a designated defense deck. It's a little bit like the, the Rare Hunters deck, only his is with the motivation of pulling Exodia. Guys, sometimes you just have to believe in the heart of the cards and it rewards you with a sub-average fusion card. But better than the sum of its parts, thankfully. Is it enough, though? Is it enough to go through the defense? It is. Which is really nice. We needed some luck. We got it. Now it's time to wreck shop and do some damage. The next turn for him is going to be really important. What is that? Castle walls? Are you serious? Oh my god. Of course. I should have seen it coming, right? This guy's full of it today. At least castle walls is understandable, though. What the fuck is that? What does that do? This is what annoys me though. I've got this deck full of shit. Look at this fucking garbage. 1400 attack. Winged Guardian of the Forest. Fortress. This guy's in the show. I feel okay with this dude because he's part of the show. He's that early stepping step towards good cards. This guy's not in the fucking show. When was there a level 4 zombie that's 1800 attack? Never, dude. Not in fucking Duelist Kingdom. Shut your mouth, Panic. You could have used this bitch and bodied me the whole game. But you didn't have her, did you? Because she's not real. So instead, you fluff me with this garbage. Stupid garbage is what it is. Inaccurate, anachronistic nonsense. Now fuck off with your trashy, stupid, fake zombie card. And let me bum this stupid Reaper guy. Get wrecked. Next turn, you're dead. Which is not even true, because I don't have a single piece of damage between my whole team. <laughs> Did I end my turn? No, I went into end phase two. Are we not going to see King of Yami Makai? I'm sad. Ooh, but you know who we are going to see? The Dark Magician! Come on, Dark Magician, let's do this, dog. I wonder what that is. I don't trust this card at all. Lol, it was a dragon zombie. Like, that's the one monster you expect, but I expect it from bones more than panic. Although it makes sense, because it is dark, right? This guy's bodied me the whole game. But if you think about it, it's not really fair, is it? He's got traps he shouldn't have, He's got 1800 attack level 4 monsters when we've got this. It's a joke. And I don't find it particularly funny either. Which is why I'm going to shit on you, Panic, and I'm going to nick your stars. So, Arena of Lost Souls. This is Joey versus the zombie deck of bones. already lost. Oh wow. Is that all he had? Tribute to a doomed. Nice. Fantastic. Crass. Oh, it's clown zombie. I suppose in the grand scheme of things it could have been worse. It's bullshit that they've given him this deck, dude. I don't mind fighting a deck that's capable like this. I hate fighting a deck that's this capable with a deck that is so uncapable in response. 
fucking pulling baby dragons and time wizards and no fucking anything else. You can't kill me, cunt. You're gonna fucking do it. Oh, you can. I don't know what that card does, but it's annoying the piss out of me. Come on, Time Wizard. He has no cards right now. If we can get a, a correct guess on this, he's going to be at the mercy of single spawns. So this could be really, really nice, actually. It's a shame we don't have polymerization. We might have been able to bring a monster into the, the world that doesn't have dog shit attack. It's not Zombiria of the Dark, but you know, sometimes you gotta make do with what you've got. And he did not pull a monster, which is good. The beginning of the comeback is nice. With our Koji Kosi, our 1500 attack, which is total dog shit. Fucking AIDS cards. Let's show this man what AIDS cards can do. You're losing bones, you bitch. Why don't you cheat some more? There it is, 1900 attack and it's a special- Oh no, it was a normal summon! Fuck you! Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Eat my dick and balls. You fucking imp. Take 1900 damage. You got nothing, son. You die. You're so- Oh my god, I have Sakuretsu armor too? When the fuck did I get that garbage? Sakuretsu armor. I'd love to summon red eyes, but uh, I get the feeling like it's best to go for damage. Finishing with red eyes would be a beautiful thing. I'm going to try and do it if I can. I'll protect the one he tries to kill next turn with Sakuretsu, and then red eyes will finish him off, even though I do not like that red eyes card at all. It doesn't look right. Red Eyes card looks awesome, why change it? Why give it different lighting and a green background? Odd. Book of Life brings a zombie back, right? And messes around with the deck for 40 minutes, which really irritates me. Guess what, dickhead? Sakuretsu armor. Suck a fucking dick. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. Work hard, don't get rewarded. You're dead. You killed yourself, bitch. Why would Bones have such a capable deck when you have utter garbage? Anyhow, Seto Kaiba versus Yami Yugi in the greatest duel ever, where if he loses, he steps off the castle walls. <laughs> the threat of suicide is all we need to rescue Mokuba. How will you cheese me today? Come on, Legend. Let's strike while the iron is hot. Give him your genie. What do we think this is? Yeah. Giant Soldier of Stone. Saw that one coming a mile off. <laughs> I suppose could have been worse if it was season two. You gotta take the good with the bad. Celtic Guardian. There it was. There goes Lejeune. At least he's cashing in bullshit mini guts, a card that didn't exist at this period. That means he can't pull it out later on. Oh my god, really? Fucking Saggy the Dark Clown repeatedly. Never once helped anybody. This is so frustrating. Come on, Ryukish Empowered. We've got this. Who needs spell cards? Who needs trap cards? Who needs effects cards, right? Just have utter garbage, Kaiba. No wonder you fucking lost. No wonder you had to threaten suicide to win. Pack full of fucking worthless monsters. <laughs> but at least you've got better cards than Turaik. The greatest card. Turaik. Only reason we're losing is because of my card. Fucking great game. There we go, we'll dispel a magic card that doesn't exist. That sounds like a winning strategy, doesn't it? I love you, Battle Ox, but you just don't clear. Not in this shitty deck. What 
What are you gonna do, Yugi? What have you got? What have you really got, Karibo? Interesting, multiply? Oh no, he's doing mini guts again. Dude, this card is so fucking AIDS. What a lame card that is. I've never even heard of it. I don't know what's worth either. The fact he's using a card he literally didn't have at this period of the show, or the fact that he's using it twice. Multiple versions of this fucking bullshit card that shouldn't exist. Ultimate nonsense. But not a bad start in the grand scheme of every fucking deck is garbage. Which is funny because Kaiba's deck is pretty strong. It's just Yugi's got better cards right now. But when I play as him, his cards are dog shit and it's nothing but fucking Tarikes. Ooh, Wall of Illusions will help though. Unless he sacrifices for something, but what's he gonna do, Rude Geyser? <laughs> oh, it'll be Summon Skull, won't it? 2500. Just to fuck me in the mouth, Eye of Truth. Flip it up. Yeah, that ain't working, Chief. Dummy. That's more like it. Oh, really? Painful. Ryukushin Powered, that classic Yu-Gi-Oh monster that Kaiba summoned every duel that I'd only ever fucking heard of when I bought his deck. What are you doing, Yu-Gi? No Mirror Force? There we go. What are you gonna do? Guts? No, Horn of the Unicorn. Okay, fair dues. It's funny, isn't it, the difference that a couple of buff cards can do. Get yourself a couple of quick cards and even dog shit monsters can seem like they can achieve things. Luckily for, for us, Swordstalker has 2,000 attack. Imagine, imagine a monster with 2,000 attack. You just can't do it, can you? Not in this period, apparently. Now fuck you. And he gets it back for free. But hopefully, he doesn't... Well, if he's got a Celtic Guardian, we're fucked, and he probably does. So he better be drawing that blue eyes pretty soon, Kyber, or we're screwed. Ooh, he's got nothing. Good. And we've just drawn that blue eyes. This could be exactly what we want. I'd love to finish him with that card, too. Oh, of course. Just use a card that's Joey Wheelers. Why would he not have fucking scapegoats? Although I do think he did use that card at some point, didn't he? It's been a while, but it wouldn't surprise me. Joey gave it him. Really? Nice guy. Nice guy, this guy. I mean, they've got no attack, so fuck them. Come on, Ryukushin Powered, let's get in there. Let's do some damage, shall we? Worst case scenario, I uninstall this game and you never hear any of these videos. <laughs> fuck this stupid fucking game. It's just annoying, because they cheat. could possibly need three polymerization cards for one monster. You couldn't even make it up, dude. It's just dumb. The only good thing about this run right now is that in some way, 
he is having a worse draw than me, which is a miracle when you think about how, how shit our cards are right now. Interesting, burnt his Karibo. Why would you keep that card on that's just doing nothing but give me... I'm not even using traps and you're just giving me life points. And look, look how dumb this is. How obsessed with fucking polymerization can you be? It's like there's something wrong with his brain. You can't tribute that? Huh, well that's good because it's going to get us another blue eyes and we get to summon the big boy. That's all that really matters. Please don't mirror force this. If he Sakuretsu armors this, I'm going to be so angry. This is why sometimes it's better to get a bunch of smaller monsters and just do the damage with those, because as soon as you do anything big, it's just trap all, trap all, Raigeki. Should just surrender. What a beautiful card, look at that. Godlike. And here we go. Trapple, Mirror Force, a million bullshit cards. Suck my big fat cock. Oh, Karibo, that's fine. This is the end, my dear old friend. What is he gonna do? Guts? Good. Stick your beat in like a man. There we go. Give me those life points. What an odd choice. Not even using traps. That just seems like a problem with the AI, that. There's no reason for him to do it. He's just giving me life points, and <laughs> I don't know why. This is it, dog. Get fucked. Not accurate to the show. Literally don't see that card for another, like, two seasons. <laughs> but it'll do. I say two seasons, he summons it against the dueling computer, doesn't he? Duel of Tears. Let's do that classic duel where we play as Taya and she shares all of her wonderful cute cards. And I'm assuming it's a fairy deck, right? And my is harpies, so what could go wrong? She has mage power? Why does Taya have a better deck than Kyber and Yugi? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Could have just been playing as this chick. We just, unfortunately... I don't really want to burn her. It's a powerful card for refilling useful spells. Now this! This could be interesting, so let's burn this. Just in case. What have you got? A trap, right? Yeah. I thought it'd be that. That's a classic my card. And then we get to do some fun. Look at these buffs. Hang on a second. Is that not a fairy? <laughs> <laughs> it's called a fairy, but it's not a fairy. <laughs> Rip. Luckily. Mage power is all powerful. And this is really going to hurt. And if we could have put as many things on as I wanted, it would hurt even more. But unfortunately... Sometimes you don't get what you want. I can't believe Taya's deck is literally going to be better utility than any of the main characters. Why would she have mage power? Why would she have two mage powers? Look at this! What is going on? Look at that AR! Ridiculous! Taya literally has a level 4 monster with more attack than the strongest card in Kaiba's deck. 
that took me all duel to summon <laughs> and could have been easily just removed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look how look based this is though. And then she brings out the channeler. Ends the phase. She wants this to die, but this is foolish. Double magicians of faith? Come on, nah. This is dumb. There's the shadow eyes. Never mind. That's a lot of damage. And I'll take it. Oh no! We could have been playing as Taya this whole time and we would have had a much better time. Because she's got a deck that's got function. Interesting. Why are you hiding? Mirror Force too, Jesus. Look at that, dude. Unbelievable. She could kill a god. Are you really going to keep burning those cards on bullshit? Why would you do that? I've got nothing to get back except a D-spell and it won't even work. It's a trap. You know it's a trap, I know it's a trap. She hasn't used any spell cards for it to be anything else. One more turn, my. Yeah, time is ticking away. And she's gonna dispel mage power. It's clever. But it's not enough. This is ridiculous. What a shit deck. A million fucking trash fairies. Unbelievable. Luckily, mage power is all powerful. I didn't mean to do that. Come on now. Can you imagine drawing three Magicians of Faith in a row? If I had someone's deck and I drew three Magicians of Faith in a row, I'd slap the person that built the deck. How, how attached to fucking magic cards can you be? Ridiculous. What are the chances? This is it, mine. He's got nothing. Hey, we got, is that a fairy? That is a fairy, he can get the other buffs. Here we go. Come on, fairy. Time to activate some spell cards. We got 2100. Not too bad. Get mage power on that, could have been beautiful. But, alas, you lose. And then we've got Champion versus Creator. Interesting. We get to play as Pegasus here. Oh, Pegasus. Problem with Pegasus's deck is very momentum based. And if your opponent gets momentum and you don't, you lose. Stars is remain to go on. Definitely liking this. That's a strong opening statement, Pegasus. Let's see if it proves to be fortuitous. <clears throat> and he immediately gets a blue eyes, and if he's got arcane rules, he immediately summons it. No, thank god. Backs it up with a shadow spell, probably. Interesting to see how this goes. We know he's got a blue eyes and we know he's probably going to be defensive. There it is. There's the two tributes and that's what he wants. Another Tomb World card? Really? The cool thing though about blue eyes white dragons is that unless you've got some very particular cards, you can only attack once. And we're already having a go at those life points. And he's negating attack, which is super frustrating. Because we don't get any damage, and now one of us inevitably dies to the dragon. However, Snatch and Steal is going to make that dragon... Oh, 
he's going to be able to summon two. Didn't see that coming. Oh, no, he's not. Interesting. And we get to watch a nice little shitty cutscene that looks like it was designed by children using Lego. Very topical. And he does summon another one. This is good, though. Doesn't seem good, but I like it. I definitely like this. So we'll do boom. And then we'll kill both blue eyes white dragons with snatch and steel. And then he gets to think about what he's done. And we hope he doesn't have Monster Reborn, because if he does, I'll be particularly annoyed. And I'm already particularly annoyed because this fight is RNG as fuck for no other reason than fuck you. And the one downside of Toons is that even when you can attack directly, you still have to pay life points. How pissed would you be? Two dragons like that immediately taken out by one bitch magic card? I'd be pretty pissed. And he doesn't have anything to summon. as one trap. He's already done Negate, which means this is probably Shadow Spell, if I had to guess. So we'll do this. As much as I really do like the Goblin Attack Force, they won't be able to attack this turn. But he will. And I can't use that. Let's activate two Toon Wills. I wonder what will happen. What have you got? Nothing? There it was, Shadow Spell. So it coming a mile away. What is that, 1300 now? Yeah, 700 off it. We can live with that. He might not even draw a card. But if he does, it's going to be stronger than this one. So, we'll make do with what we've got. And we'll fire it. If you're going to fuck my card, I'm going to fuck you too. And then we pray now he doesn't summon any of the multitude of monsters that are better than mine. And he did, but it was defense mode, which is good, which means it's probably Zagi the Clown. That's a special summon. He's probably not happy about that, but... I'm happy about that. Because we get to have another crack at those left points. And what's he going to do with Zagi, unless he's got a Judge Man? Or a Rude Kaiser? And he could summon those, I guess. Please don't. Oh, even worse. Swordstalker. And another Mesmeric Control. It was Mesmeric Control this whole time, that's funny. Well, as much as I do like me some Mesmeric Control, it ain't gonna save you. Got one turn, Kyber. One turn. Better make it a good one. What can he do with one card? Oh, that one card becomes two cards. And he's lost. GG. We've got Yugi vs. Mai, a very, very scary opponent, Mai. But that draw might be one of the best we've done as Yugi, and we're gonna need it with some of the shit she can do here. Ooh, she didn't get a monster though, huh. Interesting. Damn, Snatch and Steel coming. Coming out again. Come on, Griffor. Everybody's favourite trash level 4 monster. Shouldn't be in anyone's deck. Doesn't even look good. Never looked good once. Terrible stats. Zero redeeming features. <laughs> Yet yeah, Yugi loves it. There we go, Birdface. Saw that coming. We can stop that, though. Stop it in the bud, nip it. And that's a, a free summon skull next round. And we'll take that immediately. 
Ooh, monastery barn too. That's interesting. Summoned skull! What has she got here? Got that crystal wall? Seemingly not. Shadow eyes and crystal wall, I would have guessed, but maybe a harpy's feather duster that she can't use without the harpies. If that's even how that works, I don't really remember. Damn, she can't draw anything, she's just lost. And we got a black luster soldier just to rub it in. So if we're gonna rub it in, let's really rub it in, shall we? Let's attack her with her own character. This just goes to show that the capricious nonsense of Yu-Gi-Oh. She had one of my draws just then where you can't do anything and no one can save you. And you don't even have to do well. You don't even have to play well. You just win because of sheer nature of luck. And that's the game. My Valentine's got a good deck and that's a dangerous fight but I made her look like she had nothing. Nothing to do with me. Keith's machinations. I really like Duelist Kingdom because it's such an innocent state of Yu-Gi-Oh where it wasn't quite established in how it was going to be. So there's this wonderful sense of, of just stupidity. Every card that turned up was some deus ex machina with a story behind it that was as silly as it was profound. And that was fun. But it doesn't translate well into this. It just translates into shit decks versus incrementally shit decks that are somehow better than yours. Like, look at this. Why the fuck is Sakuretsu armor there? I need to go back and study these decks to see where this rocked up, because I'm certain that's a Battle City card, that. Fucking Joey just dropping Sakuretsu armors. Where'd he pull that from? And it's funny, isn't it? Because if your argument is, well, they can't be completely accurate because then it'd be no fun. Who the fuck thinks this is fun, dude? These decks are dog shit. It's horrible. I'm doing this because it's stupid, you know? It's not fun. There's nothing fun about drawing three fucking polymerization cards and losing. So if that's if that's the only conceit here, then why even bother? Why not make it completely authentic? Every card is shit. Look at this for a turn, dude. Keith doesn't have a monster, doesn't have his field card to summon those those high-level monsters, and I immediately hit the life points. I'm liking this, but it's nothing to do with me, and it's complete luck. He's got to get that mausoleum card out. Surely. I'm going to town on him here. This is weird. Feels wrong. Turned on, but it feels so wrong, like when you relate to a Nickelback song. We'll test this guy. What is it? What could be in defense here? I thought it'd be that. Good news here is, it's not that high of an attack, and these guys get to go on those life points again, so... This is best case scenario for us. I like a good Blast Sphere usage, but that's not how he should have used that. Interesting, he went into battle phase with no monsters, that was weird. Now it's going to detonate and we're going to take that sting. Not too bad, all considered. I don't know what that is. Luckily, I don't need to. What an uneventful fight. And I don't think he can stop this. Well, rip bandit Keith. It won't look like that for you, because you'll get all the bad rolls that I got before you saw that. And now for the match you were all waiting for. Shit deck versus shit deck. And now we get to cry about friendships for 25 minutes. Malevolent Catastrophe, wow. Pile of Greed. Ooh, into Graceful Charity. Why do I have a Time Wizard when I gave it to Joey? Wow. Interesting.
Why does this card exist? I'd really like to know why that card exists. This card goes against almost everything that makes this game fun. That card is only good for the person using it and everyone else be damned. It's lame. That straight up is, it's just a welfare perk that, it's a blue shell. A blue shell for bad deck builders. And he gets a, really, a turn one fucking polymerization? Is it Thousand's Dragon? No. Oh, it's... That guy. <laughs> guilty of the Dark Knight. The old classic guilty of spawn. And he's gonna get sacrificed immediately for... Why does Joey Wheeler have summoned Skull? Why? Why have I used Joey's deck repeatedly and never had a summon skull and now all of a sudden we've got summon skull? Like, how the fuck does this work? Oh, well, if we want to just throw all the fucking fiction out of the window, then let's do this. And if there's a god, this will be correct. Well, there's a god. There you go. It's nice to clear that one up. Fuck you, Joey. Bullshit artist stealing my cards. Stealing cards that I gave you. Fucking summon skull. This is such a shit deck, dude. It makes me sad. <laughs> you get your garbage. You should have gone out in pools, man. You suck ass. There's so many people in this contest that should have got further. Like, think of Bones, man. Bones' is deck. By far the most dangerous deck I've seen in this whole campaign. Bones gets bummed by me. That guy. That guy would have wrecked everybody, dude. Not even Pegasus would have touched him with that deck he had. Every single turn he's summoning 1,800, 1,900 attack monsters. Special summoning as well. You can't keep up with that shit. Can I use this? Because he, he and him... Turn into him. But I need him on the field and I need to, him to do the thing. It's confusing, isn't it? That's unfortunate. I'd love to summon the Dark Sage. I, you rarely summon that guy. What does it say there? So. Must first be special summoned from your hand or your deck by attributing one Dark Magician immediately after applying the effect of the Time Wizard in which you called the coin toss right. I could try and summon him. It's going to go wrong this time, guys. I hope you know this. I'm going to use Time Wizard. And it's going to fail. <laughs> because no one's that lucky. But we'll see, right? So, heads. Yeah, I should have gone tails. Rip. Never mind. It was worth the try. Unluckily for Joey, he's just not got anything. He's having one of those days. And I'm having the same day. Because why would you... The only thing worse than one Gaia the Fierce Knight is having two. And I get having one because, you know, Yugi, yay. Yugi didn't know these cards were shit. It was Duelist Kingdom. All these cards were free. Free summons, easy life. Good God, what is going on right now? Why can nobody play? This is weird. What a weird duel. Of course, there it is. <laughs> oh, you love to see it, dude. Fucking trap all. I have summoned the greatest monster that took me 15 years to find and to save up for and then to buy. Trap all. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah, why not? Let's fuck you some. You fucked me, I'll fuck you back. What did he have? Sakuretsu Armor and Grave Robber. Of course he did. Why would he not? What a disgusting game this is right now. Summon Skull, get your ass out here. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this comedic nonsense ruining the memory of Yu-Gi-Oh.
summon skull! Kill this man, please. Fuck you, Joey. The match of the millennium. Yugi Moto versus Pegasus. Let's do this. Been a long time since I've watched Duelist Kingdom. <laughs> can we win the toss? We can. Nice. We'll go first. Pegasus is going to want to use Toons and Toon World, and we're going to want to stop that. Because it attacks directly at the cost of... Oh my god, really? Two black magic rituals, are you high? Oh no. Nice to see the Celtic Guardian, though. Don't surrender. So... We don't really have any strong defense. So we'll... We'll show what we've got. And we'll do some mind games with the CPU. Make them think it might be a trap. Make them hesitate. But it's not, because we're full of shit. Let's have a see. What has he got? Okay, he's gonna immediately get out of the Toon World. Oh no, he drew another one of the same card? Is that gonna be for Toon World? No, Toon Summon Skull, okay. And then there's the Toon World, he already had it, minus a thousand life points. There's Manju with a thousand hands. There is the, oh my god, relinquished. And he's immediately sacrificing for Toon Summon Skull, okay. Cannot attack on the turn it's summoned, so that's not a problem. Now it needs to die, but can we kill it? Probably not. Oh my god, Beaver Warrior! <laughs> Accurate, but not helpful. Oh no. <laughs> Why did he just get to have the best turn in history? And now we're fucked. Oh, this is brutal. Go easy on me, Pegasus. Fuck. I'm meant to win this fight. I need to get my grandfather back. There it is. There's the first attack. Interesting. Did he use an ability then? What was that? No, technically it was in attack position, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. So we drew Catapult Turtle, which is not the best case scenario at all. We've got nothing here, ladies and gentlemen. This is already a rip. I don't know what to do with this deck. It is costing him, though, to use it. And there's the Toon Cannon Soldier. Is he going to use him? He is. He's going to fire whatever that was at me. We take half the damage. Best case scenario, it wasn't too bad. There it is, damn. This might actually work its way out. Do we have enough points? We do. We can summon him now. This helped. Whatever that trap is, is bad news because this game has been evil so far every so often. You know, accurate to the television show and then before you know it, fucking trap all. Swords are revealing light in a deck that should never have swords of revealing light. So I guess we'll find out together. Come on, Magician of Black Chaos, it's fucking gold. This guy looks awesome. Love this card so much. Can't really do much with it, but now he gets to sweat. We'll keep that face down just in case. And we'll get rid of the tune that's attacking our life points. He didn't trigger anything, which is good. What is that card? Hmm. There's the defense mode. We saw that coming. We get to draw. Now we get to have our actual defense, which is nice. And then we can bump this guy out and start going on offense. We can't... Oh, can we? 12. No, we can't. Fuck. This is a problem when you're using these Season 1 cards. They, they're just not strong. They did the job then, but that's because we didn't really know how the game worked, and the game in the TV show looked so weird anyway. Toon Mermaid, that's a special summon, he gets one more summon. He doesn't have anything, interesting. Oh, Torayk, really? Dude. Somebody needs to do your deck, Yugi. I know you won Duelist Kingdom, making you the best duelist in the country, but fuck. Your shit sucks ass, and you know it does. Good we didn't bring this trash to Battle City, isn't it? Already been wrecked. One more turn, Pegasus, what you got? You're gonna sing that song from the CD? Face up, face down, attack or defend. Best song ever. Interesting, speaking of. 
Is it going to be something fun? Man eating. Ooh. Summon Skull! Right, let's do this. Bring him in. The classic. He won almost every episode. The big man. Big lad. If this is Manny in Bug, I'm going to be pissed. If this is Penguin Soldier, I'm going to be pissed. If this is Morphing Jar, good, it's Toon, Toon Gemini L. He's dead. But just to rub it in, we'll do extra damage. Unless he's got some awesome Mirror Force he should never have. Non-canonical Mirror Force. Fuck you, Pegasus. Open it all right! It tilts me somewhat that they have Battle City Yugi design in Duelist Kingdom. 